Hey y'all, welcome back to the Hot Rod Dad channel. Glad you came, hope you stay. Like, subscribe, comment, share, etc., etc. You know the drill. It is a beautiful, sunshiny day today here in Tennessee. I'm off work and headed to the 17th annual uh, Good Guys Car Show in Nashville, Tennessee. This is held at the Nashville Super Speedway, and I anticipate uploading two if not three videos from this event so y'all be sure to check them all out to see all my coverage of the 17th annual good guys car show in nashville tennessee stay tuned so i'm here super early and uh, even before the vendors have gotten in here and uncovered all their gear and cars and stuff but i am sure this is going to be one of my favorites here today and I have got to come back and check this thing out after they get it unwrapped. So I'm just uh, kind of uh, going through the vendor area right here and this little Roadrunner really caught my attention. But one of the really trick features of it that I really dig is these hood latches. You just push that little button right there and it releases the pin that's concealed down there underneath. That's pretty cool. Here is an absolutely beautiful 33 or 34 Ford Phaeton. Don't see too many of these around. And this is what I would call a resto rod, meaning that the body is mostly stock on it, but it has, uh, you know, more modern underpainings in it. What's that? With the towel in it. Oh, <laughs> I'm not gonna ding you for that. It's a gorgeous car, sir. I absolutely love everything about this Corvette. This is a 1958 model, and it has a 383 stroker in it. Well, this is something you don't see street rotted a whole lot. This is an old Willys um, tr pickup truck. And it has a big old Hemi stuffed in there. A really, really nice custom. But my favorite thing about it is check out that bed wood. I like those inlaid strips in it. So this is one of my favorites here today so far. This is a 1933 Willys pickup. Real interesting little tidbit about these Willys. Uh, from the factory, from here, back of the door, forward to the cowl right there, they're all the same. The cars, trucks, uh, coupes, whatever. And then as they're going down the assembly line, they have a factory seam right here. And they just don't add on the back of the cab if it's a truck or the uh, back of a sedan if it's a sedan or a coupe or whatever but from the doors forward to the cowl is all the same interesting little uh, engine choice right here and this one is a 4.3 and it's got two Stromberg 97s on it it's got a Mustang 2 front suspension in it and a gorgeous interior I love that little detail in the seats right there nice vintage looking gauges and this uh, bed is all hand fabricated by the owner and he drove this here about six hours 
What a nice piece of machinery. Another real interesting little detail. He used the original hubcaps on this. Those are Will Ventique wheels and they made a kind of an adapter right there just so he could use those original hubcaps. I absolutely love this little truck. This is absolutely one incredible Roadster pickup. I've seen pictures of this on the internet, but I've never seen it in person until now. The aluminum work on this thing is just astounding. I can't imagine how many hours went into uh, fabricating all this right here. Even the gas tank right there, it's got some custom bead rolling on it right there. All this on top is all raw aluminum, including the bed floor right there. The seats all right there, and they kind of simulated a tuck and roll interior using a bead roller. Every bit of this is all hand fabricated. Can you imagine the hours that went into this? It's got a quick release steering wheel on it right there and the steering wheel itself is hand fabricated. Even right down to that speed blister right there that hides the uh, steering arm. As an Arden headed flathead Ford. See Stephen Bunker there. Need to, uh, fill out just a an incredible paper. piece of I'm work. Of contenders, please head on over to the entrance of the right there. Pop up the canopy, see Steve Hook, Bunker, and sign a waiver. Thank you. Here's another absolutely incredible machine right here. So many custom details on this F100 crew cab that you can't even count on. Interesting uh, bed wood right there. And this bed is absolutely sculpted to perfection. Got the rounded corners on it right there. And if you look at that bed rail right there, you can see it kind of uh, has a bow in it. Absolutely astounding. The uh, till lights are molded in. I'm not sure what those are at, off of originally, but uh, they've grafted those into the fenders. And check out the running boards. It's got that uh, wood detail carrying over from the uh, bed inside. Love the color of this rig and uh, all the uh, accessories and engine color. Highly, highly detailed. Just custom from one end to the other. Let's take a look at the interior. Mm -mm, smell that leather absolutely stunning I am really digging this little Dodge van mostly stock looking on the outside but look at that interior
I'm kind of a split mind about these things like this. I see a lot of guys cutting the back ends of these trucks off and making benches out of them and uh, stuff like that, wall hangers. I don't know, one, one side is kind of cool, but on the other hand, uh, judging by the tailgate and the and the backs of the uh, fenders right there, that was probably a really good bed. It could have been salvaged and been put back on the street. I don't know. Let me know in the comments what y'all think about that. Best burnout competition, uh, Saturday night track cruise, and much more this weekend. All here happening at the Nashville Super Speedway in Lebanon, Tennessee. The Good Guys, Ron Custom Association, 17th BSF, Nashville, Nashville. You got a request, be sure to come up and see me. Cosby Customs is showcasing the next generation of hot rodding that will help establish the latest trends and keep our industry rolling in the future. By sponsoring the Good Guys Next Generation Special Area and Award. Billsby Customs is your source for turnkey hot rods, muscle cruise and pickup trucks, plus any service work or upgrades needed to keep you cruising. Be sure to follow them on social media and stop by their booth today on their vendor midway where they can turn your dreams into reality. Billsby Customs, we're going to switch on over to some good country brunch. This little Copper Tone 34 Ford pickup is my favorite thing here today. It's got copper and aluminum elements all over it, as well as some stainless accents. It's got thousands of copper and aluminum rivets all over it. Uh, it's got just insane, insane detail uh, to this thing. And I cannot even imagine the amount of hours that went into building this let alone the foresight and the artistry. Just look at that linkage on the door. And it's got, even in the interior, it's got unusual elements. It's got right there a hip joint replacement of all things. <laughs> right there for that little lever. It's got a vintage mic for the uh, uh, gear shift knob. And look at that antenna on the roof. It looks like it's cast aluminum, really unusual. And over here, the third car they've got representing their shop is this 36 Ford convertible. Love the way that that hood tilts to the side right there. Bright red with, again, a very unusual color choice for the interior, but it works well. Man, I would just love to do some boulevard cruising in this thing with some good tunes and my girl beside me just enjoying life. Advanced Plating is here showing off their wares. And they've got a couple of pieces. That kind of shows the process right here. This one goes from pitted metal over here to the stripping, to the copper coating, to the chrome plating. And they've got another nice display right here. That shows the different stages and different finishes. Right there, really cool. Lordy mercy, I would love to cruise in this Lincoln. This thing is a land yacht, but it is cooler than dang it. This is a 1956 Lincoln. I like that red and black interior. It's 
both on the road and off of it. Make sure to check out the booth today at the Vendor Midway. Thank you, Fight Tech, and everyone here for another awesome Good Guys event. I really like the flame work on this little Model A coupe and that silver is a really good choice with that red interior. I really like this combo. Well, that is an atypical engine choice. You don't see too many six cylinders that clean and uh, hot rodded. It's nice to see something different than a small block or a an LS occasionally. Man, that is a gorgeous red interior too. I am seriously digging this little gremlin. It's actually been one of my favorite things here today. Set up a little bit of a gasser stance. It's got some cheater slicks back here on the back. You know, I'm old enough to remember when these cars were new and they were just all but hated uh, for a lot of years by the uh, car crowd. But now I'm starting to see more and more of them come out of the woodwork and people fixing them up and showing them a little love. And I'd say that's way past overdue because these are really cool little cars. Here is a little 32 Ford pickup. And that thing has a Hemi wedged in there between the rails. That's the part I enjoy. I had no idea the triangle between this. It's uh, kind of a hunter green, and the frame and chassis and wheels and other components are gloss black. It's got the commercial grill shell and the commercial headlights on it as well as Buick finned drums. Looks like the top is chopped probably about three inches, I'd say. And it has wire wheels with Excelsior radials. These guys right over here know how to do it. They are grilling out, just having a big time, enjoying the car show. And in the background, they are doing the autocross right over there. You might hear one go by here in just a minute. I've seen this 56 Ford pickup for years at different shows. I really like it. It's uh, red and you got some very traditional gold scallops on it. And it's got a, a, a really nice tastefully done chop on it. it. Looks like it might have a little bit of a wedge to it. I'm not sure. I believe this belongs to uh, one of the Barrel Arrow brothers in Knoxville, Tennessee. Metal Brothers is set up here with a beautiful 56 Ford F100. There are so many gorgeous cars here that are uh, just highly customized that you really don't know what to look at. Beautiful, beautiful interior. those uh, strips I don't know uh, 
how exactly they're secured right there. Check out that trick little gas filler in the bed there. Really like that. Hey y'all, thanks for coming along and checking out the 17th annual Good Guys event in Nashville, Tennessee with me. I've divided my footage into two videos, so be sure to check out part two of this event. And until next time, y'all get out there and build something.